Hello, here is an instructional video from Allsup to help with setting up your My Social Security account. Access to your My Social Security account is important to your disability claim with Allsup. If you created your personal My Social Security account more than three years ago, you'll need to change to a login.gov account or use an id.me account to have continuous access to the Social Security Administration or SSA's online services. This video will show you how to create a login.gov account. You can skip this tutorial if you already have an id.me or login.gov account to access the SSA's online services, or if you created your personal My Social Security account on or after September 18th, 2021. Follow these steps to create your account using login.gov. Go to ssa.gov forward slash my account. Click on the create an account button. Click on the create an account with login.gov link. On the next screen, click on the create an account button. Then scroll down and enter your email address in the field provided and choose your preferred language. Check the box in front of I read and accept the login.gov rules of use. Click the submit button. Next, the SSA sends an email to your account that allows you to continue creating your login.gov account. Check your email account and open the message titled, Confirm Your Email. On the next screen, you'll be asked to create a password and confirm the password for your account. Once you complete that, you'll see the Authentication method screen. You'll be asked to choose a method to authenticate your login.gov site as an extra layer of protection. You can choose from Authentication application, text or voice message, security key, government employee ID, backup codes. After choosing your method, click the continue button. On the next screen, you'll enter your phone number and choose how you want to receive your sign-in code every time you log in. Add this information and click the send code button. On the next screen, enter the one-time code you received and click the submit button. Now you'll be asked to choose a second authentication method as a backup. Click the Add Another Method button or Skip For Now link. On the next screen, click the Agree and Continue button. Now you'll be asked to verify your identity for the SSA. You need to have your verification method with you. That can be your driver's license, social security number, a match to your phone number, or your login.gov password. Make sure you have your verification and click the Continue button. On the next screen, check the box by the statement by checking this box, you are letting login.gov ask for, use, keep, and share your personal information. We will use it to verify your identity. Click the Continue button. Choose how to verify your ID. Now you'll use your phone to take a photo of yourself and your driver's license or state ID. The SSA wants to make sure you are the person on your ID. Enter your phone number in the field provided and click the Send Link button or you could choose to go to your local post office and verify your identity in person. If you chose send link, the SSA sends a message to your phone. Check your phone and follow the instructions to take a photo of your ID. On the next screen, you'll enter your social security number in the field provided. You must have a social security number to finish validating your identity. After you enter your social security number, click the continue button. The SSA will check records to verify that your phone number matches your verified information. Be sure to enter a U.S. phone number, and it should be the phone number that you use the most. It also will need to be a mobile number if you request texting. Choose text message or phone call and click the send a code button. On the next screen, enter the one-time code you received and click the submit button. Now you will re-enter your login.gov password. It will be encrypted and secure so you are the only one who can access it or change it. Click the continue button after you enter your password. The next page generates your personal key. Be sure to write down this information and keep it in a safe place. You will need it if you forget your password. If you don't have your personal key, you'll need to verify your identity again. Check the box next to the statement, I saved my personal key in a safe place, and click the Continue button. The next screen shows your verified information. Click the Agree and Continue button. The terms of service will be shown on the next page. Read the terms of service and click the box by I agree to the terms of service and the next button. On the next screen, you can set your preferences for receiving online notices. Click the set preferences button. Once you select your preferences, your account setup is complete. We hope the assistance Allsup has offered in this video is helpful. For questions about creating your My Social Security account, please refer to the Social Security Administration's guide.
to contact ALSUP with questions about your social security disability claim, you can reach us on our Contact Us page.